Hello, all my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Tuesday, February 22nd of 2022. So you've got 2 22 Wonderful energy, forwards and backwards. Beautiful palindrome of numbers. So hopefully this energy will align and we can have the best possible day for everyone who's watching. And for everyone, but especially us. <laughs> The Vibe Tribe rocks, right? So this is the energy of setting ourselves up for success as we begin this beautiful day. Remember, this is for the collective, all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Also, if you'd like a little pick-me-up, check out Royal Mystic Collective Wisdom. I've got some really cool stuff on there. You might like it. Check it out. Here we go. On and onward and upward into the breach we go. <clears throat> the five of wands, which is a little bit of a snag or even competition. Nothing to, sh to write home about. Nothing to shake your, uh, yourself up about. It's a minor thing. It's just a temporary hold at best. Okay. That's, that's the, the, the worst it can do to you is make you pause for a minute. But it's not going to cause any ceasing. And it will not block you completely. Because how in the world could it do that when you're receiving a dump truck load of blessings? <laughs> Seven of Cups is the onslaught of blessings. It literally is like an avalanche of things that happen all at once in the best possible way. So being chased down and overtaken by your blessings has never been a bad thing, right? Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit. Eight of Cups, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses. Thank you so much for, move, for moving forward. <laughs> for allowing all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, uh, because I had the Eight of Cups, and I was focusing on the Eight of Cups as the second cut card, they gave me... <laughs> They were speaking as I'm doing the prayer, moving forward. The way is made clear. And that's why I laughed when I said it, because I knew I was, I was being pushed into saying that. So I know you guys already know that's what that Eight of Cups is. And if you don't, now you do. The Eight of Cups is making the way clear. It's like a runway being set up because all those cups that are on either side have already been done. You have completed all tasks. You've learned all lessons, and you may now proceed. The Eight of Cups is a big old yes from the universe, and it came right behind that seven. And you saw that five was still there, but it's showing you may now go forward, even though there was a stumbling block or some kind of competition. Remember, it can mean that. And it can also mean people just being a pain in the patoot. Uh, Honoriness can be the Five of Wands, and if you're around people who are ornery, then that can happen. And that's a special Texas term. <laughs> Pains in the patoot are what people who are ornery are. Disagreeable by nature. So uh, so we would call a bull ornery. A, a big old um, um, Angus bull would be ornery. So here is the judgment card, which is a resurrection of something that you thought was off the table and now it's back. That eight of cups precludes it. So that really shows something is opening up that you had to really go to... to great lengths to surpass it by doing what you needed to do in order to, to have that open up for you. So you have done it. It is back and it is showing up for you to be able to proceed now. And we have the flow. Riches flow into my life in many ways and from many directions. Absolutely remember this as a mantra. I receive abundance from sources known and unknown. I am an unlimited being receiving unlimited abundance from an unlimited source. This is absolutely your truth. Your paycheck is not the only way you can receive abundance. So your job is not your only source. The universe is your source. And it has many ways to bring you in, uh, abundance and new energy in financial abundance. The energy that it brings you 
is to help you move forward. So it's not trying to make it to where it doesn't work for you. It's trying to work for you. Support. I surround myself with supportive people who believe in my dreams. Now, this is a statement to attract those people. I surround myself with supportive people who believe in my dreams. One of the other affirmations I have is, Thank you, universe. I only receive people in my life who mean my highest good. Okay? Or that, are, that are down for my highest good. People who want to lift me up and not take, take from me. They want to help work with me and, and be cohesive in the energy of moving forward. So... I think my actual affirmation is, thank you, universe. I only receive people in my life who have their, my highest good in their heart and all others are rejected. All others are repelled. That's the word. See, I don't even... <laughs> Abundance. This is showing up. It's coming in. That was that seven of cups and the eight of cups is talking about that abundance being made clear. So... We'll take the abundance. Thank you, Angel Answers Oracle cards. And now we have our Sacred Geometry Activation cards. Fertility. That is always great. Fertility means new growth. The frequency of fertility invites us to be more open, more courageous, more creative, and more joyful than we were before. It activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves so very beautiful evolution and fertility in the positive all is well in my world say the louise hay power thought cards everything is working out for my highest good out of this situation only good will come i am safe exclamation point all is well in my world Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. Exclamation point. And so it is. We speak that into existence. I say out to every negative thought that comes to my mind. No person, place, or thing has any power over me, for I am the only thinker in my mind. I create my own reality and everyone in it. My thoughts are creative. And this is where you, you have to remember what you speak from your mouth is what you bring into your life and what you believe in your mind. I say out to every negative thought that comes to my mind. No person, place, or thing has any power over me, for I am the only thinker in my mind. I create my own reality and everyone in it. So when somebody gives you a negative feedback before, you know, you could tell them your idea. And they break out their big old negative cancel stick. And they start pounding away at your idea. And crushing it with that stick. You don't have to let them do that. Take your stuff and walk away. You do not have to subject yourself to that. First of all, when you know they're going to be that way, don't tell them. Protect yourself by not giving other people the power who aren't supportive. Because their opinion doesn't matter. They're not part of your tribe. And it doesn't matter if they believe it to be true for you or not. Just saying. You're the only one that it matters. If you believe it, then, it's, then it matters. Six of Wands. This is coming through the battle victorious. Very happy and excited energy. Head and shoulders above the rest as well. Look at that. Eight of Cups. There it is. It looks like a runway, doesn't it, to take off? So see, there was the old block, and now you're open in the energy. This is a yes from the universe for you to move forward. And it's saying, it's showing you the whole horizon. All is open for you to choose what you want. <laughs> and that damned old Five of Wands keeps coming in. Now, this can be your own resistance. I did this. When the universe told me, get on YouTube, and I thought, whatever you know i don't know anything about youtube yeah it came back again louder and when the universe gets loud let me tell you it's kind of scary and <laughs> but it got my attention it certainly did you have to understand you've got to overcome your own resistance and sometimes it's our resistance to listen 
once we start cooperating, the resistance drops and we go, oh, well, this really is something. So don't get yourself all tangled up on something that you don't need to because something's coming back around for an opportunity. You've been after this for a hot minute and now the way is being made clear. So don't throw a, throw a, a wall up right before you're about to have a big breakthrough. Many blessings to you, my friends. Have a beautiful Tuesday. I will see you again tomorrow. Namaste and love and light.